beautiful piece here. What is this? Uh, this one is the uh, gold inlay powder. Uh -huh. Powder is a, a seat on the elephant. The seat on the elephant. So this seat initially was on the elephant for people to ride on. Mm -hmm. And this, this one is for the king. For the king, of course, yes. And um, is this a real one or is this a replica? Uh, this this one is a replica because uh, it's really heavy. Okay. Uh, the, the elephant wouldn't like it. Um, of course, it probably <laughs> wouldn't like it. It looks pretty heavy. What is this made out of? Uh, it was made uh, out of... Uh, we, we use the technique called uh, gold inlay, okay. which uh, we use the, the steel and then we roughen the surface equally. And after that, we use the gold thread and paint it one by one into patterns. So all the pattern that you see here is not painted, but it's all hammering down one by one. Really? How long did it take to make this? Uh, quite a while, but uh, at, uh, 40 years ago, there is only one man left who knows how to do this. And the queen asked him to come to the support foundation and teach other people to do this. So now there's, of course, more people who know how to yes. do this. If you take a look at this piece, if you get to come here, I would definitely recommend you to take a very close look at this. As she mentioned, it's not paintings. It's from carvings and uh, kneeling downs. And so therefore, it's very delicate. And I believe that definitely a piece of artwork that you need to take a look at. All right, let's go see more artwork. That way. So we're now taking a look at what I will consider as probably my most favorite items of the bottom floor, or at least so far that I've seen. Behind me here are centerpieces. They're absolutely beautiful. So what are these centerpieces made to look like or replicas of? Uh, it's the miniature of the royal barge. Royal barge. We know that there are several types of royal barges, aren't there? So how many types are actually back here? Uh, so uh, we, we have uh, many, but uh, some of them they, is like uh, the the royal barge that the king would sit on. Uh -huh. So what is this made out of? Uh, it's made with uh, silver and gold. It's made of silver and gold. So these are relatively new pieces or old pieces? As it's well? also uh, not that old, but not that new. So. Made from the support groups yes. as well? So you've mentioned um, the support groups quite often, from upstairs as well and yes. downstairs. What exactly is the support group or what is its functions and roles? So uh, the, the museum here are all from the work from the support foundation, mm -hmm. which was uh, founded 40 years ago when okay. the king and the queen went to the rural country trying to elevate the better living uh, of the, the Thai villagers, people. Yeah. And uh, the king said that uh, the most important people are the farmers, but they are also the poorest too. Yes. So uh, they have this uh, problem with the uh, flooded and drought. So he trying to help them with the agriculture. So he gave this task to the queen to help them with the supplemental income. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, the queen uh, thinking about like what could she do to help uh, people who couldn't go out there to in the field, mm -hmm. maybe the, the younger people or the older people, like what could they do to make their living? So she has this idea of reviving the old art, uh -huh. which, uh, which is that time is about to be forgotten from Thailand. So she asked uh, some of the younger uh, children, the one that they could not afford to raise, mm -hmm. to come to uh, her home, to the Jilada Palace, yes. to train all of these artworks. So now these people, they have become like a natural treasure because they, they are the one who made all of this, the, the, all the work that you see here. Uh -huh. And uh, they also make a living out of it. So it's become a big project and also a way to revive the old arts of Thailand as well. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at this side now. Is this also made from support groups as well? Yes. And this is centerpieces as well? Uh, this, this, uh, some of it uh, like, a, like a jar. Ah, okay, a vase. glasses and jars. Yeah. Uh, we can see that they're also made in shapes of, above there is the Naga, I think. Is that yes. correct? And this is also a mythological character yes. um, as well. And this is also made from silver and gold, mm -hmm. the same as yes. the centerpieces yes. back here. All right, so let's go take a look at more items over there. Moving along the bottom floor of the 
Throne Hall, we can see that there's an exhibition here which are hand clutches, I believe? Or? Yes, like um, a bear. What are these made from? Uh, this is uh, called a uh, Yalipao basketry. So it's made from grass, is that correct? Uh, Yalipao is a sort of the fern vine from the southern part okay. of Thailand. And it's woven yes. into this shape. So we have to uh, peel the stem until it's very thin and then we uh, stitch them. So these are actually items that could actually be, be found within the markets outside of the... the yes, market. yes. But the, what's special about this one is probably the design, of course. Yes, also designs and also it's very fine. Very fine. So, of course, outside you can buy some if you like these types of handbags, of course. But these are, of course, the more delicate and detailed ones. All right, there's one more item that I want to see and it's located over there. Let's go. So the last item that we're going to take a look at here on the bottom floor that I mentioned I really want to take a look at is this piece of cloth here. It's an amazing and beautiful embroidery, um, but can you tell me more about the details of it? Uh, yes, so uh, this here is called a prayer wire uh, cloth, uh, uh -huh. embroidered with the semi-precious stones. Uh -huh. So it's one of the very delicate process of making the, the, the cloth. So you say it's very a very delicate process how is it delicate so you have to weave them and embroider the stone at the same at the time. same time so okay if this was normal uh, weaving we would weave the mm -hmm. cloth all at once into a design yes. but the, because this one has these semi precious stones it has to be inserted in at the yes. same time when you're weaving as well well wow, it's amazing so you have to actually have the design in your head mm -hmm. when you're creating it as well because yes. you have to know where each piece belongs mm -hmm. Alright, so there's so many amazing and beautiful items here, but this is probably all the time we have left. Before we end our program, of course, I would like you to invite our viewers to come and visit the Anantasanakum Throne Hall. Uh, yes, so uh, there's more uh, works that you can see here. And uh, if you have some time, you can uh, enjoy uh, the walks here and also with the amazing Throne Hall. And what days and what time is uh, the Throne Hall open? We open uh, every day except Monday, mm -hmm. and we open from uh, 10 a.m. to uh, till 5 p.m. And what about the ticket pricing? Ticket pricing is 150 baht, and mm -hmm. for senior citizens and uh, students with ID cards, uh, they have uh, we have the Some discounts. Cash. Yes. Good so news. it's like 75 ah, uh, baht right. discount. All right, I think one thing that people should notice as well, or note if they come to visit the throne hall, is the way you dress mm -hmm. to come here, of course. Um, it is very important to dress properly. There are some rules and some restrictions, mm -hmm. such as the females have to wear longer Skirt. dresses, mm -hmm. skirts, uh, be below the knees, of course, yes. right? No tank tops. Mm -hmm. um, for the gentlemen, of course, proper long pants. Mm -hmm. No shorts, of course, no tank tops as well. Any other requirements um, uh, to visit? That's it. That's it. All right. So other than that, just come, enjoy, take a look at all the beauty available and have lots of fun. All right. So today I have to thank you so much for taking us here on a tour of the throne hall, both upstairs and downstairs. I've learned a lot of knowledge and got to see amazing pieces of artwork. Kapunmaka, thank you very much. And that's all the time we have for this week here at the Ananta Samakom Throne Hall. We've had a lot of fun, gained a lot of knowledge, and don't forget to come and visit here yourself. Just a little reminder for those of you who want to visit the Ananta Samakom Throne Hall, just a little bit on the dress code, of course. Don't forget for women or females, of course, to wear longer skirts beyond the knees, for gentlemen to wear long pants, and of course, no tank tops as well. So this is another location in which I definitely recommend you, and stay tuned to see where I will be bringing you next week lots of fun indeed. As for today's, thank you for staying tuned. Sawatika.